Hello everyone, my name is Niyanta Chauhan and I'm Naisha Bora. We are from CLSP 8 and are delighted to be hosting this episode of Smart 360 More Than Just News. This bulletin series promises to update you on the happenings in the world and all the campuses of GIIs. The idea is to share information, generate curiosity and spread knowledge and also have fun while learning new things. So let's begin. On March 31st, Smart Campus held a spectacular farewell for its CBSE cohort at the graduation day ceremony. The ceremony is marked to appreciate the students' hard work that they have put during their learning journey. The auditorium reverberated with applause as the graduating cohort, dressed in their graduation robes, walked up on stage to receive momentous. The student representatives shared their joyful memories and learning experiences of the last few years. Smart Campus Principal Ms. Melissa Maria, during her speech, motivated the students by quoting Walt Disney. All dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them, fueling them with inspiration. The graduates took the oath and hurled their caps in the air after they were declared graduates, and their elation was indeed infectious. The ceremony came to a memorable conclusion with innumerable hugs, tears and farewells and the graduates left with happy memories etched in their heart as they embark on a new phase of their respective careers. Let's hear from one of the graduating students, Pradakshina Krishnan, as she shares her experience of the graduation ceremony. Hi everyone, I'm Pradakshina Krishnan. The graduation ceremony held for the CBSE batch of 2023 was truly magical. Right from the beautiful decoration, all the way up to the inspiring speeches given, everything made the evening a memorable one. Even now, when I close my eyes, I can experience the thrill that I felt walking up on stage that night. I'm sure it is the same for all my fellow batchmates. I want to especially thank all my juniors who put in so much effort to organize such a spectacular evening. The MCs touched all our hearts by including special descriptions about each and every senior who graduated that day. The band's lively performance and the dance crew's foot-tapping number filled us all to the brim with excitement. Thank you so much, guys. This graduation gave me an opportunity to reflect on my journey through GIRS over the years. I can tell you now with confidence that GIRS, with its nine gens philosophy, has shaped me into a responsible global citizen. The technological exposure has made me future ready, while the exposure in terms of competitions has given me the confidence to express my thoughts effectively while inculcating leadership qualities in me. Therefore, my one advice to all the juniors in GIIs right now is be proactive. Take initiative and participate in as many things as you can enthusiastically. After all, nothing is more expensive than a missed opportunity. I want to once again thank everyone involved in putting together such a spectacular evening that I am sure will stay as a fond memory for everyone who attended the event. And once again, I would like to thank GIRS for giving us a tremendous head start. Thank you. It was indeed a fantastic journey. We would like to wish Pradakshina and the entire cohort all the best for their future endeavours. GIS Kuala Lumpur Grade 9 student Farhan Hamid shines bright at the Under-18 Football Cup hosted by Kuala Lumpur on March 18 and 19. Farhan played as part of his team, Destiny FC, under the guidance of their football coach, Walid Mohamed Yunus. The team performed exceptionally well throughout the tournament, demonstrating their skills and fantastic dedication on the field. In the final match, Destiny FC played against KLYS and after an intense match, they emerged victorious with a score of 2-0. Farhan showcased his prowess at the game and played a crucial role as a defender, ensuring that the opponent could not score any goal during the final match. The team's victory is a testament to their talent and hard work. And on behalf of GIIS Smart Campus, we would like to congratulate Farhan and Destiny FC on their outstanding win. Hey, have you heard of the Yukai Engineering Innovation? It's called Fofili and it's a breathing pillow. A breathing pillow? That sounds interesting. How does it work? 
It's designed to copy human breathing and when you match your breaths with it, it can help induce a sense of calmness and relaxation. It's like having a robotic friend that breathes with you. Wow, that's fascinating. I've never heard of anything like that before. Yes, it's really unique. And guess what? Fuffoli was even named an Innovation Award honoree at CES 2023. That's impressive. It must be cutting edge technology. Absolutely. The pillow itself is made of soft willower, so it's incredibly comfortable to cuddle and squeeze. It's like snuggling a cloud. It's a perfect combination of technology and comfort, and I'm really curious to see how it works in person. The Ocean Cleanup, a distinguished non-profit organization, has recently achieved a significant milestone by successfully removing 220 tons of plastic from the ocean. Yes, indeed. Ocean Cleanup has been diligently engaged in the task of cleaning up floating plastic from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, a vast accumulation zone where powerful currents and winds have caused over 100 million kilograms of plastic to accumulate. Precisely. The CEO and founder of Ocean Cleanup has ambitious plans to clear the entire patch within a decade. By utilizing data from currents and winds to predict plastic distribution and strategically directing their capsule vessels, he envisions a comprehensive solution to this environmental challenge. Ocean Cleanup uses cutting-edge technologies designed to extract plastic ranging from minute milliliter to massive fishing nets, showcasing their commitment to innovation and efficiency. Absolutely. What sets Ocean Cleanup apart is their visionary approach of transforming a problem into a solution. By repurposing the accumulated plastic into valuable products, they are proactively preventing its re-entry into the environment. Agreed. In fact, their first product, a pair of sunglasses crafted from plastic collected from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in 2020, exemplifies their ingenuity and dedication to sustainable solutions. Indeed. It is truly commendable to witness organizations like the Ocean Cleanup pioneering efforts to combat the concerning issue of ocean plastic pollution. The first book we would like to recommend is Prince Caspian, a high fantasy novel for children by C.S. Lewis. It was second published of seven novels in Chronicles of Narnia. The book starts with the Pevensey children, Lucy, Peter, Susan and Edmund in England, standing at a train station. They are suddenly transported to Narnia, where they eventually find the ruins of Ker Paravel, their home for many years when they ruled Narnia. They discover their old artifacts such as Peter's sword, Susan's bow and Lucy's cordial. Together with Caspian and of course Aslan, who also comes to help, they defeat the Talmerians and set Caspian on the throne of a united Narnia. At the end of the story, Susan and Peter are also told that this will be their last trip to Narnia. We hope that whoever decides to continue to read about their adventure trail is in for a treat. Another book we would like to recommend is Oblivion. Ten years from now, the gatekeepers are attempting to locate one another, stop the evil power that awaits them and preserve the planet in the same way they did 10,000 years ago by navigating a devastated world. With enemies dodging their every step and the doors broken, the gatekeepers' only hope is Oblivion. If you're someone who loves mystery and suspense, then you're in for a treat. Well, with this, we have come to the end of today's episode. Stay tuned, viewers, for our next episode, where student hosts like us will be bringing to you interesting news coverages from our campuses and the latest news bites from around the world. We would love to hear from you, so do share your feedback, ideas, or any interesting topic that you would like us to cover by writing to us at smart360 at globalindianschool.org. Until next time, this is Mansha Vora. And this is Niyanta Chauhan. Signing, Signing off. off.